As we all know, both the LA teams have two of the best teams in the NBA now, and they also have two of the best duos. The Lakers have LeBron and Anthony Davis, and the Clippers have Kawhi and Paul George. So in today's video, we're gonna be finding out which duo is better than putting them in a 2v2 game, seeing which team comes out on top. Before we start off this video, G Fuel has actually given us code SMEAKWOLF for 30% off at their site yet again so up until july 15th if you go to gfuel.com and use code speakable you actually get 30 percent off on your order g fuel is a substitute for an energy drink that has zero sugar so you get no crash at all but they still have a ton of amazing flavors some of my personal favorites are cotton candy watermelon and fruit punch it gives you a ton of energy as well as tasting amazing i use it to create all my videos otherwise i would not have the energy to do so but getting into this video we are in nba 2k19 blacktop mode we got lebron james and anthony davis on the ringers Kawhi leonard and paul george on the ballers we're going to be doing a half court game to 21 with these two teams and we're gonna find out which duo is gonna come out on top and take the W. If you guys do go on to enjoy the video, make sure to smash the like button and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's hop right into this game. So I'm not gonna be playing this. It is going to be CPU simulated and it will be played on Hall of Fame difficulty. Vote now on which team you think is going to take the W right here. Kawhi and Paul George starting with the ball. Looks like Kawhi gonna be on LeBron. And Paul George on Anthony Davis. Well, I cannot get around LeBron right now. LeBron playing some lockdown defense. And LeBron actually gets the steal and the dunk lead of the game here. Kawhi getting inside. Tough layup. It is no good. Kawhi's actually already cold. LeBron, the two pointer. And that is good to go. LeBron with 33 points on the board. Here's Paul George, nutmegs LeBron, and finally the Clippers getting a bucket. LeBron trying to get inside here. Good defense by Kawhi. He does not get that uh, cold badge off him, though. The defense sets a nice screen, and Paul George, wide open layup or dunk. And I don't know if it's Kawhi or Paul George, but they cannot get a screen on LeBron. Maybe it's just LeBron. He's too good getting around those screens. Look at this, Paul George, wide open. Why did they had an easy bucket there? If he cut, he would have been wide open for an easy dunk. And a big save by Anthony Davis, and it looks like it's a turnover. I do not know how the Lakers managed to get that one. A screen by Anthony Davis, but blocked by Paul George and AD. Second chance points there. Why the nice screen and Paul George the easy dunk. What's interesting about this matchup is these are four of the best defenders in the entire NBA. I mean, when LeBron's trying, he can defend very well. LeBron inside and gets another bucket. If Kawhi can finally do something here, fades away, and that is no good. Look at this, LeBron wide open, but pass doesn't come in soon enough. And here we go, AD, why did you pass to LeBron there? There's nobody on him. Now Paul George has his takeover badge. Lockdown defender. Nice screen by LeBron there. And AD going to get the wide open dunk this time. These pick and rolls have worked really good in these 2v2s. I mean, if you don't get around the screen, pretty much screwed. Paul George inside. Good D. LeBron inside. Good defense. But LeBron gets his takeover badge. Slashing the playmaker. LeBron's archetype. I believe everybody else will have some sort of defense in their takeover badge. Kawhi inside. That was like an impossible shot. Not a good take by Kawhi. And look at this. LeBron. Nobody covering him. Paul George. A nice screen this time. And Kawhi finally getting inside. LeBron's been stopping him almost every possession. Mid-range shot by LeBron. That was a tough shot. Kawhi inside and a one for Kawhi Leonard. Um, they do get the ball back. So in different game modes, they don't get the ball back. I believe if you play full court, you do not get the ball back. But in half court, they do. And Kawhi loses it down low. That was a waste of possession. They got that and one and blew it. 
Big steal by LeBron this time. Coming inside. Missing, but Anthony Davis with the board. Good defense by Kawhi. They don't get anything to go there. There we go. Nice screen by Paul George. And the wide open dunk. Kawhi Leonard with his takeover badge. Looks like he's a slashing defender. Should be able to play some good D on LeBron here. And he does. AD with the rebound. Second chance. Points are good to go. Well, George, I don't know why he put up that shot. Anthony Davis with his takeover bat. That was literally the worst shot I've ever seen. But Kawhi with a big block and he gets a dunk inside. So I guess that ended up working out for them. Maybe 2K messed up on that one play. And they had, they had to make LeBron shoot a terrible shot. LeBron James inside for the dunk. They got a four-point lead now. The Lakers looking like they're going to take this one. They need five more points for the victory. Here's Kawhi on the post again. Another fade and another miss by Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi not doing so hot in this game. AD inside for the big dunk. A five-point lead now. Kawhi Leonard putting up a tough shot and he hits it finally it's something to fall might be a little too late though LeBron with the through the legs dunk Clippers do need something big right here Kawhi the tough shot why is Kawhi putting up the worst shots I've ever seen in my life not passing at all LeBron inside and one they're up to 19 points LeBron with his takeover badge as well they need two more points to win this thing. LeBron trying to work inside. Double team doesn't matter. It is game point. One more point for the Lakers duo. And they're going to take the victory here. Paul George coming inside for the big dunk. Lakers can win it all here on this possession. LeBron putting up a tough shot and it is no good. If they came back from this, it would be crazy. Paul George almost missing. And a nice pass inside to LeBron. Easy dunk, and that is going to be Gabe right there. The Lakers duo coming out on top ahead of the Clippers duo. Checking out the box score. Kawhi Leonard, 8 points. He went 8 for 14. So he still actually shot a pretty decent percentage. Two turnovers, though. And then Paul George had 7 points. He shot 7 for 8. I mean, Kawhi should have passed to Paul George a little bit more. I mean, Paul George was doing pretty good when he did have the ball. Going over to the Lakers, though. LeBron with 17 points. Went 16 for 23, hitting a three-pointer. He had four steals as well. Anthony Davis only with four points. He had six rebounds, five assists. Uh, but it looks like kind of the Bay guys for Kawhi and LeBron James they didn't really pass at all during that 2v2 but anyways that's gonna be it for this video guys which duo do you think is better the Clippers duo you got Kawhi Leonard at 95 overall Paul George at 93 overall or the Lakers duo LeBron at 96 and Anthony Davis a 94 overall if you did enjoy the video again smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new turn on those post notifications this has been your boy Smeekwell and I'll see you next time Peace. Labs on the finish, had a handful of limits through the hand. Got a bag, now the hands in the business for my hand. It's a ticket, talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I've been playing with the minutes that they been should have gave. And I'm flipping every digit that they been should have paid. Had to find a way to get it. No, this isn't what you made. If I ever wanna dip, then I'm breaking.